Today we're going to install the intake and exhaust camshaft positioning sensors on the 2012 Chevy Equinox. Alright, I just removed the intake and exhaust solenoids. I'm not sure if they're for the cam, but it's throwing cam codes. And here it looks like it's variable timing solenoid. Uh, but anyways, let's go ahead and get started. So this black one is going to be the exhaust. This lighter one is going to be the intake. So the exhaust goes in the rear and the intake goes in the front. So let's go ahead and put in this one here. And should go all the way down. Move this screw upwards. And let's give it another try. There it is. Perfect. All right, and we'll go ahead and insert the intake as well. Intake solenoid. All right, it's just in here, just like so. Perfect. until you hear the little snap. Then we're gonna tie these up with a 10 millimeter. You might wanna use hand tools, not power tools, just for the simple fact that there is an aluminum block and you don't wanna mess anything up. But I'm good with power tools, so I'm not gonna overdo it. That's good enough, as long as it holds them down. All right, so this one here is gonna be the intake and this one here is going to be the exhaust and go ahead and slap in the intake first all right now the exhaust there it is secure it perfect all right so now what we got to do is put in this little cover plate on and then the air intake box all right, I don't know if this will happen to you guys, but the little rubber piece right here broke in half. So there's no longer something to hold it into place. So what I did was pull this out, push this one in, and there it is. Now we have our connection again for the PVC, I think it's called. PCV is for blow by. There it is. So now we'll go ahead and install this piece, then this one next all right let's go ahead and get some tools out of the way put this bad boy in here put it to its place let's get this out of the way i might need both hands if i don't want to break anything Get all four corners down, put in your oil cap back into place. All right now, we have our air intake ducking. There's a C clamp or tie down clamp right there, and another one here, right there, and right there. I'm gonna go ahead and use both hands to put it in real quick. All right, first in here, then in here, then finish it off by pressing this one down, it locks it into place. We're gonna go ahead and use a flathead and tie these down. We'll tie this one down. Might need both hands. All right, we'll tie off the second one that is down here. And I might need to use both hands once again. All right, once we have that bolted down, just grab this line, insert it here, and you're done. And that is how you install new cam camshaft positioning sensors for intake and exhaust solenoids. That's how you do that. Thank you for watching. Please like and subscribe. Don't forget to hit that bell.
All right, let's get out of here before we get kicked out.